five, as far as treatment is concerned, most of our patients will receive interactive metronome therapy. This therapy is designed to help your attention, speed of thinking, reading, writing, memory, activities of daily living, so on and so forth. You will be performing simple exercises to stimulate different parts of your brain that are rhythmic and repetitious, these exercises. If you train your brain and stimulate the neuron pathways, your brain will find a way to improve on its uh, function. Your brain is going to improve memory, processing, speed of doing tasks, reading. You can improve comprehension. You can improve attention. Many children are set up on our interactive metronome system to play games on a computer with supervision and visual stimulation as they're playing the game. Our therapists have assigned and developed a specific program that will therapeutically help the patient based on their needs to enhance their brain activity with time limitations. They may be playing skiing games, balance games, or other fun games. It depends to the age of the patient. This has been incredibly, incredibly successful with our children and adult population. The next treatment, it's called neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a therapy where a child or an adult sits to watch a movie. They watch the movie while they're connected to a computer to read their brain waves. Once again, there is zero side effect. There is zero pain. It's non-invasive. That's what you need and that's what you should go for. So this only receives information from the brain. It monitors brain activity as the child or adult is watching the movie. If they stop focusing because of their attention, because of their impulsivity, computer will recognize it and, for example, blocks half of the screen, So, which is unpleasant for the viewer. So the patient gets this unpleasant takeaway as a result, gaining their attention back. And as a result, the computer will reward what was taken back from them, which is giving them the full screen. If three minutes later, the child becomes distracted again due to their lack of concentration, the computer may take it away again. The computer may take away the left speaker. So there's no sound once again. It's a takeaway, it's unpleasant. The child is going to put their attention back and as a reward, they get the sound from the left speaker back. So the patient involuntarily responds, thus focusing their attention to where it should be and get the takeaway back as a reward. We are training the brain remapping the pathways of the brain where there was a functional disconnect to reconnect and that is why patients get results. This is called neuroplasticity, which means the brain will find other methods to accomplish the same task permanently. Similar to riding a bicycle as a child, once you learn how to ride a bike, it stays with you. Sometimes it is hard to actually undo. It's hard to fall from a bike now because you learn it and it's permanently mapped in your brain. The problem with medications, as I said before, such as Adderall, Ritalin, these medications boost overall brain activity. So if you have an imbalance in the brain where the right brain is down, left brain is fast, and you take the drug, it will boost both sides. So you still have imbalance. In many cases, if you stop the drug, you may even become worse. In fact, a Harvard medical neurologist, Dr. Duffy, he is a professor of pediatric neurology. He's an advocate of neurofeedback and states neurofeedback plays a huge role in these disorders. Why you haven't done it? Why you haven't heard about it? could be because of the pharmaceutical companies. As I said before, there's a lot of money to be made for them. I want you to understand that I'm not suggesting you to stop medication, 
change medication. This is a job of the prescribing physician. We are not curing any condition here. Our medical physician's goal is for your body to perform at its optimal level.